New tonight from the ABC 15 investigators, Arizona Attorney General's office is looking into a Valley Fire Department's online claims after the state's largest firefighters union raised some concerns. I've never heard of the Rampart County Fire Department. The fire department in question is named after a county that is not actually in Arizona. The founders, Nick and Christina Smith, had been trying to raise money and they quickly removed sections from their website after ABC 15 investigator Zach Crenshaw started asking questions. I was on TikTok uh, scrolling and I came across them. When Arizona firefighter David Clinkenbeard saw Rampart County Fire Department's social media, he was taken aback. It caught my attention because the show emergency in the 1980s, the hospital was Rampart. David and other firefighters were skeptical. We've called some other departments and nobody knows who they are. Don Youngward, president of the Professional Firefighters of Arizona Union, sent a letter to the Arizona Attorney General's office in June requesting an immediate investigation. He pointed out that the department's website claims they have 10 personnel and 15 volunteers, they service nearly every county in Arizona, and they operate a regional dispatch center. I'm just not seeing any evidence that uh, they are doing what they say they're doing. Uh, and that they are what they say they are. Don was concerned. Because they are actively asking for money and donations. In early June, Rampart's website had two donation portals, one for a first fire truck and the other for disaster relief donations. Don also documented a few of Rampart's TikTok videos, fundraising to send search and rescue teams to a tornado in Arkansas last March and a February disaster in Oklahoma. I have never seen or heard of them in any of those situations. We didn't just get a search and rescue dog, make these shirts and then start a website. During an hour long interview in mid June, the couple explained their operations. So we have two different companies. We have a for profit company, which does the um, non emergency medical transports. That for profit is called Rampart County Fire Department Incorporated. According to the Arizona Department of Health Services, it's a non regulated fire department meaning they can transport people in an ambulance, but not if it's an emergency. Their nonprofit operation, which got IRS approval in 2020, is Rampart County Fire Department Disaster Response. Online, the Smiths do not clearly differentiate between that for and nonprofit business. I mean, we just, we use the same like um, social media for them, for both of them. And this was a section of Rampart's website in June when we did the interview. You said you have, you staff four fire stations. Yes. So tell me about those. Are we have a corporate station that we have out here. And, and then from that that's down the road, we rent a desk from a family member that lets us use it for our purposes. But that's not a fire station. No. The website also said they're an organization utilizing thousands of employees. Do you have any employees? We have uh, about five to six employees. Yeah. How often are you paying them? So they get paid. Right now, uh, the business isn't functional at this point because, well, our medical transport side went down. But, like, you don't have any employees right now, like, on payroll? Currently, no. They also claimed to operate a regional dispatch center. We have our own nationwide communication system and structure that we set up so we can be from here to Florida and dispatch can hear us at anywhere and anytime. But in his letter to the AG, Don said, quote, no such dispatch center appears to exist and went on to write, quote, many people pass themselves off as first responders to bilk unaware and good hearted citizens out of donations. The breadth of this apparent fraud is breathtaking. You're a lot of the fire departments. They're going to look at anybody who tries to say that they're fire service or anything as um, a fraud. We wanted to also give back to the community and do search and rescue stuff. And obviously you have to fundraise as well to get some equipment and be pouring it into that. We repeatedly asked Nick why parts of his website claimed Rampart has facilities, employees, and services that don't exist. When I built the website myself from the ground up, okay. <clears throat> a lot of it was taking templates and manipulating it. Um, however, five years, 10 years down the road, I don't want to have to keep going back and adding little things here and there. Christina later added. And we could fix that. There was a time we did have multiple offices and we could, you know, fix that and stuff. Hours after our interview, their website was taken down. When it came back online days later, the four fire stations had dropped to one. The links to donate were gone 
and the references to the number of employees disappeared. As our interview was ending, Nick told me this. So the main thing that people need to take away from this is that we're not stepping on toes. We're not running into burning structures and saying that we're active firefighters. But on TikTok, it's a different tune. Please don't do anything stupid to get your bits blown off and yeah, make us work. So we already are going to be responding to fires because people are starting fireworks where they're not supposed to be. Now, since my interview with Nick and Christina, they say they've purchased a 1988 fire truck and tell me they're planning to fix up their old ambulance as well. They also say they'll deploy to disasters across the country if they're needed. As for Don's letter to the AG, the attorney general's office told me Attorney General Mays takes allegations of fraud very seriously. And our office is looking into the issues raised by the professional firefighters of Arizona. I'm investigator Zach Crenshaw, ABC 15, Arizona.